because my schedule got switched around i had originally set this goal on my calendar to go donate blood but it turns out that my schedule got uh, adjusted to where Friday works out better than Monday. I had already scheduled a plan B that if my schedule was to change, I knew where they were doing blood donations on Friday. I just realized right now that my schedule did change and that I have to resort to plan B. So I hate making like last minute adjustments to my daily schedule, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So right now I'm going to finish my workout. I'm going to have breakfast. I'm going to jump in the shower and then I'm going to go take off to handle this. I'll vlog it all the way through. Nervous at this point? No, excited. So what I did was I went to go create an account. I went to AmericanRedCross.com. They asked for my zip code. I knew already because I had scheduled it for today, Friday, or Monday when I was going to go donate blood. It was either one of those two days depending on the outcome of my schedule. So you go onto the website, you create an account, and you schedule. You can't just prance in. I guess you could. But I wanted to schedule an appointment so I could be in and out of there as quick as possible. So I blocked myself out for 12.15. It's 11.30. gives me plenty of time to get there. And then it asked to create an account, so I did. I pretty much just signed in and, and confirmed, and it's a done deal. So far, it's so good. Um, didn't give any instructions about eating any different or nothing. I've just been going about my day. I had um, my breakfast. I had an early lunch, washed up, ready to go. I'm excited. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. So right now, I'm just going to go brush my teeth again and um, get my book, get my backpack, and um, yeah, be on my way. As I'm getting ready, I tell my daughter that I'm leaving and where I'm going, I hadn't told her yet. And of course she would ask, are you going to vlog it? So here it is at Starby's, sleeves are going up. I had already started getting the sweater on, getting the backpack, my phone's recording, that's where the address is. So let's go. From here we get the keys, we get in the car, and we're on our way. See you in the car. In 800 feet, turn right toward International Avenue. Should turn off the uh there she is right there there's the mobile unit sorry i had my map thing on let's go park it a little closer here to the uh to the american red cross mobile unit i'll walk by it so you guys could see it first on the way over here i got a little kind of um just just thinking about when i initially started putting this plan together and wanting to actually um, move forward with this which was pretty interesting so it says there you gotta register. Blood, okay. There's the number. 800 Red Cross. There's the Red Cross sign. I just went to AmericanRedCross.com and I signed up there. So we're about to go in there. And uh, right now I feel like it's this real sense of just joy, um, happiness, and thankfulness that I'm able to be here today to do this. Let's register in the lobby before entry. Okay. Uh, just sign in for me right over here, please. Did you have an appointment? Set I up? do. Okay, good. This is the first time doing this. Okay. Um, so I came a little early in case there was like paperwork or anything. There will be yeah, oh. a bit of paperwork, so thank you. Mm, what time is it? Twelve? Is it about twelve or less? Oh, what do you want me to write? 12? 12 is good? Sure. Um, so what I'm going to have you do is uh, read through this paperwork. Okay. Um, you can have a seat. Just let me know when you're all done. Okay. okay. Just kind of flip through this? Yeah. And then they're also going to have you do a questionnaire on the bus. I went in there, I got my tag, I went in there and I got a question um, pamphlet and I pretty much went through it. That's the stapled sheets that you saw there. Basically that's all on the frequently asked questions on the website. However, it did have some up to date current stuff. Um, if I had traveled to certain countries in the last few years and it states the dates that if I had been um, traveling there and then also it um, specifically says what countries and activities and as far as um, medications that I that one's not able to take so pretty basic stuff but good to read you'll find most of it like I said probably besides just the countries visited and dates will be found um, on the frequently asked questions on the American Red Cross uh, website. So here we go, into the trailer. Okay, now squeeze three times, hold the third. One, two, three. Excellent. Okay, relax your hand. Okay. Are you allergic to iodine? Not, not that I know. There's only one way to find <laughs> out. 
I'm going to put your bag together. I'll be right back. Okay. Stay squeezy? Or can I... So, no, no, no. You can relax your oh, head. I'm I forgot so sorry. that part. That's okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, don't worry, but it's okay. <laughs> giggly when I get nervous so if I start giggling I'm not laughing at you I understand completely okay so maybe even laugh with me oh I'll be laughing <laughs> I like that about you that's iodine this is uh yes this okay. is iodine so this is where we're finding out if yes. I'm allergic right if you were allergic you'd be reacting right now mm. you'd be giggling my cat <laughs> Your skin would start to rash up, and oh. like, wow. there's nothing happening. It doesn't burn. No, it looks like marination. Hey, don't move, don't bend, don't touch for 30 seconds. Okay. Yeah, squeeze three times and hold the third. Two, three. There's your three. Deep breath. Let it out. You're good. Relax your hand. Open it. Open your hand. And then every five seconds you're gonna get one good squeeze. Are you okay? Does it still hurt? No, it doesn't okay. hurt. <laughs> it's the giggles I told you about. Yes. So I can squeeze? Yes. So is it everything you thought it was gonna be? Mmm, exactly. And a little more. And a little more. Mm, yeah. Good. So keep on squeezing every five seconds? Every five seconds, just one good squeeze. If the cuff starts to feel too tight, or if your arm starts to feel numb or tingly, let me know. Okay, let me see. So I can giggle. Okay. <laughs> You'll be right here the whole time. Alrighty. You have really good veins, so I don't believe it's going to take more than seven minutes. Wow. Seven's a good number. Seven's a great number. Mm -hmm. As you start to donate more, your veins start to get used to the idea that oh, it's that right? being used. Yeah, oh, nice. you drink more water the day before and the morning of. Very good. Four and a half minutes is the least amount of time it should take. So we're shooting for four and a half if minutes. Yeah, if it's under four and a half minutes, then we hit the wrong vein. <laughs> <laughs> and um, every 52 days, right? Or what every, is it? Every 76 days. I can give blood. You just happened to drive by and it here was, we are. Uh, yeah, I set a goal two years ago to start giving blood as soon as my um, cholesterol level was good and, and that's just kind of like a like a prize for me right wow and i started working on it and changed my lifestyle a little bit and then i went and i was where i needed to be and i asked my doctor if it was if that was okay and he's like yeah by all means so i went onto the website and it was either going to be Monday or today. And then my schedule changed, so I had already a plan B, which was here today. Awesome. Awesome. Here Good for you. And the goal is to give as much as I can for as long as I can. So. You're done. That's it? Yeah. That is it. Uh -huh. Do I squeeze again or no more? No more squeezing. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to loosen the tourniquet, but don't move your arm. Yeah, I won't move my arm. How much blood was drunk? One pint plus probably half a cup. In the, in the little vial? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. At the very most. One pint. One point something pint? 470 milliliters. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you're going to put your arm straight up in the air. Do not bend your arm. Okay. And with the other hand, two Hold fingers. It. There you go. Just like that. Okay. Okay, so you're going to keep this on for five hours. You can keep it nice and dry. Okay. No heavy lifting. Okay. No exercising today. No more exercising today? No more exercising today. Is running exercising? Yes, it is. Okay. Nothing exerting. 
for the rest of the day. For the rest of the day. And keep this on for an hour. An hour. You can keep it on longer if you wanted to, but an hour is all you need. Okay, but what did you say about five hours? The white tape. It's going to be on for five hours. Oh, the white tape for yes. five hours. That's what's covering the hole. It's a really big hole, and you need time <laughs> for it to close up. I'm glad you told me that after we did it. <laughs> <laughs> and not before. <laughs> Okay? okay, so for the next 24 hours, lots and lots of water. No problem. Do not skip any meals. I won't. No alcohol. Okay, for the next 24 hours. For the next 24 hours. Okay. Okay? Alrighty. I'll take that. What How happens do you feel? if they're, I'm feeling great. What happens if yes, alcohol? Just curious. You will pass out, you'll fall over, you'll hurt yourself. Right. Lots of different things can happen. You got That's it. No alcohol. Talking. Because, yeah. 24 hours. It'll affect you faster. Because of the lack of the pint? Because of the lack of the pint. There you go. Feel good. Just giggly. I was a little nervous, but other than that, we did. Afterwards, we can get cranberry juice. Trail mix. And Oreo cookies. Alright, so. That's that. Um, easy peasy. It was cake. Man, you can't even see my face. Should have brought some lighting. Easier than I thought it was gonna be. After I, I mean, you guys will see the clip. I went in there and just sat there. Took a total of what five minutes. More setting up and questions. Uh, from the moment I got here till I left, it's about an hour. And this is my first time. Meaning. I didn't do the pre-registration. I set an appointment at home, but I didn't do any pre-registration. So if you're able to do that at home, it'll save you a few minutes. Basically, you answer about 20 pretty simple yes or no questions. Then you just come out here. You get minus 20 minutes of the stay, so it'll probably take you about 30 minutes to get it in and out. Afterwards, just sat there, had a couple of juices and some trail mix. I, much as I wanted the cookies, I didn't have them, but you can have the cookies if you want. And well, that's it i could do it again in 72 days i think she said about two and a half months i could be back here and um do it again you do feel good it feels feels nice to know that hopefully it'll help somebody and uh looking forward to continuing to do this as long as i can uh starting to drizzle so i'm gonna take off home definitely a cool experience highly recommend it for anybody who can to do it and um, let me know how you feel thanks bye